It's amusing how schools are established for the purpose of learning, but the majority of knowledge could be gotten by just subscribing to our channel, turning on your notifications for our news, and eventually watching our videos and clicking on the like button. Easier, isn't it? You, my friend, might be an island of knowledge, but today, we would be talking about 20 sure things you did not know just 5 minutes ago. Number 20. The Husseini Suspension Bridge Driving through bridges are one of the fun things to do. I would stick my head out of the car and allow the fierce breeze brush against my face, cause my hair to sway like a seductive dancer. But this bridge located in the Gojal Valley area of Hunza in the village of Husseini, Pakistan, is the second deadliest and most dangerous bridge in the world. If you love driving on bridges, Husseini is not one of the bridges you can try to pull stunts on. It is made of ropes and planks with 390 steps from one end to the other. Scary, isn't it? I used to think I loved bridges until I took 10 steps on this bridge, looking down and seeing the dangerous waters beneath. I knew that if I went further and accidentally falls in, that would be the last time you hear from me. The constant cold wind blowing from the mountains of the Karakoram contributes to the scare it stirs inside of you. You may be wondering, but there are coast guards. No, there aren't any guards to help if anything tragic occurs. Even scarier is the fact that your dead body might never be found again. Time for this strange topic. Bricks are beautiful things, and they make everything they touch beautiful. Have you ever taken a walk on a brick pavement? Have you seen how beautiful it is? It must have been a lot of work for those road construction workers, laying brick after brick on a long stretch of road. Or is it? One of the strangest things to see on the internet is this photo. You've got your brows knitted in confusion now, don't you? A passerby was absolutely shocked when they saw a group of road workers lift a whole sheet of bricks off the ground. At first, he thought it was magic a street show designed to well people's minds in exchange for a few bucks. But it wasn't. It was real. These group of workers got themselves at either side of the road and began to lift the bricks, not like regular bricks, but like a carpet. And it wasn't just one brick carpet, but lots of it. How amazing. Don't you think a brick carpet would be amazing? Imagine having the beauty in your home. Not hard on your feet, or maybe not. Do you think it's possible this guy saw right, or do you believe it was a properly constructed spectacle achieving the desired effect? I can tell you this, I'm just as wowed as the guy that took this picture. As always, comment down below with the hashtag, hashtag strange topic, and let us know your opinion in relation to what is being shown on the screen. With that said, let us keep things moving. Number 19. The tongue of a cat is scarier than you think. I am a lover of pets, as are many other people. We keep cats, dogs, and other animals in the comfort of our homes, but if you want to have a nightmare, try looking into the mouth of your cat. Check out the tongue, and tell me in the comment section if you would sleep with your eyes closed in your house again. Cats are one of the mysterious pets we harbor in our homes. It's scary to think that they spend lots of time alone, grooming themselves. Up until half of their waking time, you might be thinking, why go through the vanity? Cats like many ambush predators are very particular about their hygiene. A cat's tongue feels like sandpaper. This is because the tongue of a cat is covered with little spines called papillae. They look like tiny hooks. The papillae contain keratin, which is also present in human nails. The spine-like things are shaped like many cat claws and helps them untangle from any knot they get caught in. There's more to what they can do with their dangerous spiked tongues. Remove parasite, redistribute oils produced on their skin. Imagine being able to do so much with just your tongue. Amazing, isn't it? Number 18. This fish is blue. About five years ago, a marine ecologist, Aaron Galloway, appeared with a ling cod he had caught on the coast of Oregon. He was freaked out. This one was different from the rest that were always seen and caught. It was blue, bright blue. The ling cod is typically mottled brown red or even grayish green, but then comes the questions, why are they blue? Is it safe to eat them? Are they toxic? Lots of speculation has gone into explaining these questions, and while some think it is safe to eat the blue ling cod, which usually was neon blue inside and out, some others think it is toxic and unhealthy for one to consume. Well, going factually, the ling cod's blue color is understood to be as a result of the bile pigment in its system known as biliverdin. I don't know how to explain anything further because it's still a puzzle how it actually affects the cod's color and why only some are affected. What is well known anyways is that the probability for the coloring is higher in the females. Lucky beautiful things. Females do know how to be colorful. The fish family is not left behind too. 
Number 17. McDonald's serves spaghetti in the Philippines. Everybody knows McDonald's. Their fries and chicken nuggets is something I would die for any time, any day. But you see McSpaghetti? I will sacrifice a kidney to have one serving of those. I'm not stupid and I promise you. McDonald's definition of spaghetti is a box of long pasta topped with enough portions of tomato sauce and shredded chicken. In other words, heaven. On top of this already blessed combo is marinara sauce topped with either ground beef or sausage pieces similar to cut up hot dogs. There's a level to this heavenliness. You would know this if you add a fried chicken leg. Voila, you are on your way to momentary bliss. The sauce drenched noodles available in McDonald's in the Philippines is a great alternative when wishing to let go of the popular available options in the other outlets. It is unique, and I promise you, you would end up licking your plates, maybe even bite a finger. I hate to tell you about these things this way only. Maybe you should take a trip to McDonald's and discover this heaven yourself. You can go ahead and fulfill your spaghetti cravings with nothing less than perfection. Number 16. An 11-year-old accidentally invented ice pops. Accidents are things we cannot keep out of our lives as humans, but sometimes, accidents turn out to be a blessed coincidence. Take for instance, popsicles. I'm not crazy, I promise you, but it's worth knowing that popsicles we so much enjoy, popping into our mouth with a feeling of ecstasy etched on our faces as it melts on our tongues, is an unapologetic accident of an 11-year-old. Wow! I know. In 1905, Frank Epson, a Bay Area kid, accidentally invented the drink on a stick by mixing some sugary soda powder with water and leaving it overnight. It was a cold night. The mixture froze. In the morning, he licked off the goodness on a stick. He named it Epsicle, a portamento of icicle, and his name, boom. He was an entrepreneur, selling the treats in his neighborhood. He made lots of money selling Epsicles, which he finally changed to Popsicles when his children urged him to. A broke Epson sold his creation to Low Company in the 1920s. So whenever you enjoy the Popsicle, remember that it was an invention from an 11-year-old entrepreneur, an accident, but one we enjoy today. I guess we should give some credits to the misfortune called accident. Number 15. There is a smoke alarm for the deaf. Yes, like you, I am puzzled. Does this smoke alarm make noise or just produce more smoke for the deaf to understand that there is something going on or maybe we should just read further to find out? Imagine a deaf man sleeping and there is a fire outbreak. How else would he wake since he cannot hear? Technology has made it simple for them with the invention of a vibrating pad that sets off once there is a fire outbreak. While conventional smoke alarms work by making loud noise when smoke is detected, providing the early warnings and aiding quick escape from fires, the smoke alarms for the deaf or hard of hearing vibrate or give out lights since they need additional aid to perceive danger. Deaf people should place the vibrating pad underneath their pillows while they sleep so as not to be left behind if there's the need to run far away from your burning house. Number 14. Antarctica is the largest desert in the world. Like facts have proven, there are five continents in the world. Africa, America, Asia, Antarctica, Australia, and Europe. We know that the four out of this contains land, water, and people, but Antarctica seems to be an unfriendly place for humans because of the rumored cold and ice covering the land. It is right to think of the place as cold, as 90% of the world's fresh water is locked beneath the ice sheet covering the land. It is then hard and seemingly insane to call Antarctica a desert since the word desert creates an image of a dried land, rippled sand dunes, and unbearable heat. You are free to gasp in surprise when I say that Antarctica is the world's largest desert. The classification of a place as a desert depends on the amount of precipitation that is rain, mist, fog, and snow. The deserts are classified into many including subtropical coastal and polar. They both share the characteristics of having barren, windswept landscapes which makes it difficult for plants and animals to survive. This is true of the Antarctica. You may ask, is there a desert there or is Antarctica a desert itself? Well, the Antarctica polar desert covers the entire land. The precipitation rate in Antarctica is enough to classify it as a desert. So now that you are A knowledge richer, flaunt it and come back for more. Number 13. Your nose and ears never stop growing. I pick up a picture of myself as a child and I marvel at how different my body parts have become. You might have heard something about the nose and ears never stopping in their journey to growth, but then you may have conjured the wrong images in your head, that they actually get bigger because we get bigger. 
the ears and nose actually get bigger, but it is due to a kind of force, gravity. This sounds unlikely, but it's the truth. These body parts are made of cartilage, and while some seem to believe that cartilage never stopped growing, it's helpful to note that it does stop growing. However, cartilage contains collagen and other fibers that begin to break down as we age. So what actually happens to our nose and ears as we age is they droop. What appears to be growth is just gravity doing its job. Our noses and ears either sag, making them look larger. This is also what happens to our face when we age, but unlike the ears and nose that droop, our cheeks and lips actually lose volume, making the other parts seem larger. Oops, there's no way to stop this from happening except you become one of the gods and remain ever young. Number 12. The Eiffel Tower Grows in the Summer the Eiffel Tower, built in two years, two months, and five days, has remained the tallest building in the world since its inception in 1889. It has maintained its legacy. The metal tower expands during heat and shrinks when it's cold. What an amazing creation of man. As a result of the effects on the weather of the tower, it's 17 centimeters taller in the summer than in the winter when it's only 15 centimeters. The tower gets taller by up to 6 inches during the summer when the temperature is up to 40 degrees Celsius. In height, the Eiffel Tower is 324 meters on average weather changes. When the summer comes, the sun shines hard on it. The thermal expansion causes the metal to glow. Number 11. Bees can fly higher than the Mount Everest. You know when you are sitting for an exam and someone wishes you to come out in flying colors? You might be tempted to think of the butterfly, but if you want to get really high marks, think of the bee. Yes, the busy bumblebees. The alpine bumblebees cannot survive the freezing state of the top of the Mount Everest. There is little oxygen and air at the top of the mountain to sustain the bumblebee, but they were capable of staying afloat despite the unfriendly elevation, as shown in an experiment that was carried out by a team from Berkeley, California. Apparently, the bees got their name from the fact that they could live at an alpine elevation, although it is no different from the other species. I should own a bumblebee as a pet. Try to keep it low with me until I am ready to fly to Mount Everest. So next time you want to wish me luck, just say fly up with the bumblebees. Silly, but remember that the bumblebees are way higher than we are literally. Number 10. New Zealand is actually part of a much bigger sunken landmass. It would interest you to know that there was once a continent called Zealandia, found between the landmass of Antarctica and Australia. About 85 million years ago, it eventually sank below the ocean where it had been hidden for millions of centuries. New Zealand of today sits on top of this sunken landmass. There are maps now that reveal new research about the sunken continent. Good news, it allows the public to virtually access it, for now. Let's not be greedy to start a horror movie. How, you might want to ask me. Research has shown that dinosaurs once roamed the land. You would not want to be eaten by one, would you now? I don't think so. Number 9. Camels do not actually store water in their humps. When I was a kid, I always wondered how an animal that is a lesser animal than I am would go days without water. I, myself, tried to always keep hydrated as a human. Imagine having to go without water for days. I concluded as a child that camels must have something up their sleeves, like myself, whenever I desperately wanted people to believe my unrealistic lies. There are other people, like myself, who actually believe that the camel stores water in its hump. I was a champion of that notion. Like I said, it's excusable that you didn't know these facts before now, but after this, it would be wrong to stick to the wrong idea that camels store water in their humps for later days because the hump only stores excess fat. Yes, fat. The fat is stored in the humps for days when food is scarce to come by. Instead of storing water, the humps are used to house fatty tissues that help in nourishment on days when there is scarcity of food. Number 8. 40 million years ago, penguins were 6 feet tall. We are aware that penguins are really tall birds, or can be. The big flightless bird can stand 2 meters tall from beak tip to toes. They also weigh around 115 kilograms. Recent research has proven that Antarctica once was a home to the biggest species of penguins ever known. The Colossus penguin is the most complete fossil in the Antarctica. While it weighs 115 kilograms and is 2 feet tall, another species called the Emperor penguins weigh 46 kilograms and could reach the height of 1.36. An extinct penguin used to break the record at a height of 1.5 meters tall. <laughs> 
Recently, Acosta Hospital Lychee reported the most complete Colossus penguin yet. Now she uncovered two bigger bones. One is part of a wing, another is the Tarsometatarus, formed by the fusion of ankle and foot bones. It measures a record of 9.1 centimeters. Huge indeed. These penguins can dive deeper into waters and remain hidden for longer than the smaller ones, about 40 minutes. Number 7. Snakes can burp fire. Yes, the first time I heard it, it sounded crazy too. I mean, what do you mean by snakes can belch fire? How is a cold-blooded animal able to do that? Is that not close to committing suicide? Apparently, it works in a certain way. I know you are eager to know, or maybe you are not, but I will say anyways. All it takes for a snake to become a dragon is to have enough hydrogen inside its body. This usually occurs when an animal which the snake has just eaten bursts during digestion. This act fills the snake's stomach with hydrogen. Hence, if there's any source of fire nearby, it can transform the snake into a legless but dangerous dragon. This particular point makes me want to say that whenever you are confronted with snakes, you should choose the flight response rather than the fight. You can never tell what animal was ready to burst in its stomach, plus, if you are a smoker like myself, you should probably keep your lighter away for a while until the snake leaves. Or maybe you should just run. Number 6. Sharks are older than trees Biology brought with it evolution and Charles Darwin's survival of the fittest. Over the past three and a half billion years, evolution has brought about different life forms, all evolving from simple one-celled organisms. Every single thing from corals to dinosaurs to flowering plants to elephants, viruses, bacteria, etc. For a new life to come into being, there is the ancient law of give and take. While the things we are enjoying today in our landscapes, wildlife and what have you are so beautiful, the processes have been very violent, constantly writing off the weak from the face of the earth. This concept of survival of the fittest gives room for a periodic wiping away of life from the surface of the earth. Take for instance, the extinct dinosaur which was with us on the surfaces of the earth millions of years ago. There are species that have tried to survive, but unfortunately, there are just a few of their species alive. For instance, the sharks existed millions of years ago, precisely 450 million years ago. This actually means that before trees existed, there were sharks on the surface of the earth. Unfortunately, there are only a few now in the world. Number 5. In China, the police use geese as sentries. When police use dogs to carry out search, it is scary, very scary, because those dogs with their mean faces and their sharp teeth that one can see as they bark. Oh, I forgot the barking that can make one pee on oneself. Well, in China these days, dogs are becoming uninteresting lots. The force has reported that all it took from intruders was one drugged bun tossed at the dog to get it out of the way. Zhang Kuangsheng, a police chief in Xinjiang, Shawan country, has pointed out that geese are being used in China to replace dogs. Imagine going on a raid in Xinjiang, with all the confidence in the world, prepared to attack any beast at all that the enforcement might want to throw your way, only for you to find a group of geese at the gate, waiting to tackle you. I bet you would put your guns down and give a hearty laugh before proceeding. That would be a terrible move because geese have been discovered to be even more vigilant and excellent at hearing intruders. They have been described with the words sharp, keen, and brave. So you might want to reconsider underestimating this particular poultry because they have been proven to be an invaluable tool in fighting against crime. Don't be surprised if you see geese in China wearing a badge. Number 4. Cows cannot bite even if they tried Why? An interesting fact about cows is that their teeth are used to tell their age. A more interesting fact is that they cannot bite you with their teeth. I wondered why, so I would not be surprised if you are wondering why now. Don't worry, I will tell you why. Cows have all the types of teeth humans have except the canine. They have the incisors, which are used to tell their age, and premolars as well as molars, but they cannot bite you because they do not have upper front teeth. As a cow gets older, the teeth get older, showing more wares. The top of the teeth will lose their sharpness and continue to grind down. There is a dental pad at the top of the cow's top lip, which compensates for the lack of front upper tooth. Since there are no upper teeth, a cow may gum you, but it cannot bite you. Maybe you should try it one day and come back to me with your observation. I mean, what's life without an adventure? Number 3. High Heels Were Originally Men's Shoes 
It's always graceful when a woman dresses up. Short, revealing dresses, cool makeup, hair packed up in a bun or fallen on the shoulder, and then there's the one part that adds finesse, high heels. Women sway and move gracefully on them, causing you to stare until your eyes lose their color. Why? Because it's beautiful and adds a graceful gait to the lady. I don't want to spoil the sweet image in your head already, but it's important that you understand that the high heels which are being worn by women today were originally for men. Yes, the picture might suddenly change in your head, and it might be unbelievable, but men were the ones who wore high heels back then. Shoes came into circulation on the shoe circuit about 10 BC. They were worn by men of the Parisian cavalry to help their boots stay in their stirrups when they were riding horses. Egyptian butchers of the past wore heels also, but to keep blood off their legs. Heels were an accessory for the rich and the Persian soldiers in times past. I don't know if I'm the only one that noticed, but women took everything for men, and they do rock it well like pros. Number 2. China has the world's tallest swing As a child, even until my teenage years, and for most of my adult years, a swing has always been fun for me. I don't know about you, but the fun that comes with it's different than any other kind of fun. Don't get me wrong, other kinds of fun are fun, but a swing hit different. For those who are brave enough to remain on it though. If you're a thrill seeker or an adrenaline driven folk like I am, then this part is for you. The world's tallest swing just opened in China. And it's a very extreme swing fun, isn't it? The swing sits at the edge of a cliff and swings for about 30 stories high. It stands 40 feet taller than the big rush in South Africa, which is the highest according to the Guinness Book of Records before the discovery of the swing in China. If you are eager to go, you should wait until I've told you the exact location of this wonder. It's located at the Yunyang Longgang scenic spot in southwestern China's Chongqing. The swing is built on the edge of a 2,300 foot cliff and sends passengers 80 miles per hour out of the edge of nothing. Please get a flight ticket to China to explore this wonder. When you do, please do not leave me behind because I want to get on that swing and scream my lungs out as it throws me miles away. Number 1. Blue Whale's Tongue Can Weigh As Much As An Elephant the blue whales are known as the largest animals known to live on Earth. The whale itself can weigh about 180,000 kilograms. The blue whale is equivalent to 25 adult elephants in weight. It measures over 98 feet long and often weighs more than 130 tons. The blue whale is far bigger than any dinosaur that has lived. It is equivalent to around 40 elephants, 30 dinosaurs, or about 2,670 average sized men. Huge! The tongue of a blue whale itself weighs about 5,400 pounds, 2,449 kilograms. The heart alone is about the size of a VW beetle, and even at birth, the mammals are quite large and are considered the largest babies in the world. The tongue of a blue whale weighs more than some elephants, precisely the Asian female elephant, and can cause a flood if it should open its mouth near a school of krill. It does not weigh more than the Asian or African male elephants, which weigh about 12,000 to 14,000 thousand pounds, 5,400 to 6,350 kilograms. What do you think about these facts? Did you know about them before you came here? I'm guessing no, but your comments would be appreciated. Make sure you check out other cool stuff from us showing up on the screen right now. See you some other time.